Hello everyone. This is the Ascension Day. So this is like after Jesus has passed away. And then he comes back. And he reveals himself to multiple people. There at the end, Jesus ends up going out with the eleven disciples and he travels the Galilee to the mountain where Jesus directed them and when they saw them they worshiped but some doubt they said all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father of the Son and the Holy Spirit teaching them to deserve everything that I've commanded you and remember I'm with you all to the end of the age. That's Matthew 28, 16. Now, if you look at Mark, you go to Mark 16, there at the end. It's pretty much almost the same thing across the board on all three. Uh, there are lots of ministries today that are celebrating this. Um, one of them is doing it for like seven hours. Another is doing it a lot different. Um, they're in prayer, some are in worship, some are having guest speakers, and I just thought we'd cover this. So Mark 16, verse 14, it says, Later he appeared to the eleven, and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who saw him after he had risen. Then he said to them, Go on all the world, preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they'll pick up snakes, and if they should drink anything deadly, it will not harm them. They'll lay hands on the sick and they will get well. Verse 19. So the Lord Jesus, after speaking to them, was taken up in the heaven, set down on the right hand of God, and they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word by the accompanying signs. That's Mark 16. 14 through 19. Now if you look at Luke, because these are all different viewpoints of what, from their per perspectives, um, and if you realize that God has done an amazing thing in this moment. Now, the difference is here, Luke has a lot longer conversational style because he goes from chapter 24 verse 36 through 53 for everything that's said so we look at 36 as they were saying these things he said to himself stood in their midst he said to them peace be with you but they were startled and terrified and thought they saw a ghost why are you troubled, he asked them, and why do you doubt? Your doubts arise in your hearts. Look at my hands, look at my feet. That is, I myself. Touch me and see, because the ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. Having said this, he showed them his hands and feet. But they were still amazed and disbelieved because of their joy. And he asked them, do you have anything here to eat? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish. I wonder what kind, which fish it was. And he took it and ate it in their presence. Can I tell you? It was halibut. Halibut. Because he did it for the halibut. He did it for the halibut. Mm. <laughs> well, it could be, I you know, resist. since we're talking about I fish. Okay, Miranda's got to go open the clothes dryer so that it doesn't beep every five minutes. Because then that would be the ascension. Um, in my own way. <laughs> you just, I had to say it. Yeah, you did, so... I Verse 44 says, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. Everything was written about the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scripture. And he said to them, This is what's written. The Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead the third day. And repentance for forgiveness of sins will be proclaimed in his name to all the nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And look, I am sending you what my father promised. For as for you, stay in the city. Until you're empowered on from high. And then he led them out of the vicinity of Bethany. Lifting up his hands. He blessed them. And while he was blessing them. He left them and was carried up into heaven. After worshiping him. They returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And were continually in the temple praising God. I'm pretty sure. 
May 31st, there are going to be some people continually praising God in the temple, in the tabernacle, in the church, whatever you're going to call it. Um, this moment that we've been going through is not in vain. God is going to get all the glory, as I've said before. God's going to do a miraculous work beyond anything you can imagine. Because if you see how many people are attending online, imagine what's going to happen when the fear is completely removed. Because there's a lot of places the virus isn't really doing anything. It didn't really reach. So, in the smaller communities, in the states that didn't have a high count, the church is going to grow significantly beyond anything you can imagine. And it, as... As we say here, we're working together to fulfill the Great Commission. And that came about, in a way, through conversations with my wife and others. And we said, why don't we find a way to help other ministries? Let's take the focus off ourselves. And took it a step further and said, I said, what if God provides me a job where we don't have to take donations? And we just help other people raise their funds. And I said, well, for the end days, for the churches, The doors will start shutting beyond this coronavirus and whatever political spectrum is in the way. It's going to dictate and mandate what's being said. And if we don't have those rules and regulations in the way, we're not a prophet or a non-prophet. God can move. And we would be more like a underground church template for America. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. I think God's going to do the miraculous. People are going to be healed. People are going to be saved. Families will be restored. going to be wonderful you said asking I will receive whatever you need you said pray and I hear from heaven and I hear your name. You said, glory will fill the earth like water in the sea. You said, lift up your eyes, the harvest is here. The kingdom is near Yes, skin I'll give the nations to you Oh Lord That's the cry of my heart All in the island will see Your light As it rises on earth Yes. 
said Then I hear from heaven And I hear your lips You said The glory will fill the earth Like water the sea You said Lift up your eyes, the harvest is here, the kingdom is near. Ask and I'll give the nations to you, oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart, this then should in the island will see your light. As it rises on earth Oh Lord, I ask Oh Lord, I ask for the The Heavenly Father, we just want to praise your wonderful name today as this is the day of ascension, the day the Great Commission was delivered and the broiled fish was cooked for the halibut. I have to ask you a question like I asked in the concert. Did you have the tartar sauce like, you, like Jonah forgot to bring in the whale? Because I think that would have made the fish even better. You needed tartar sauce. God, let us be tartar sauce of the earth. You called us to be salt of the earth. We should be like tartar sauce. God, this is an opportunity for us as believers to come together to understand that working together to fulfill the Great Commission is not just a thought. It's not just something that me and Miranda came up with, but it's what's in your word. It's what you spoke to the disciples. It's what the disciples trained other people. And we need to remember that. We need to walk into that today. And God, we just want to thank you for your wonderful sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice that you made when you died on the cross for our sins, when you gave your all. And God, we do ask for the nations. We ask for the nations to be healed. We ask for the churches to be opened all across the globe. That communism and socialism will not control the church and dictate the church on where it can worship and how it can worship. No religion will dictate how Christians should worship and no government should rule in a regulatory way of what a church can and cannot do. Lord, we just ask that your power and your strength go forth. And that your word will be declared throughout the rest of this day. And it's preparing up to May 31st when many churches in America will be opening. And across the globe they'll open. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray. Amen. God bless you and we'll see you later.